begin with Tehsin Ponawala. You know, this question of minorities has been posed to Narendra Modi since he was the Chief Minister of Gujarat. Uh, and, you know, since the last 10 years, we've seen that question. Frankly, uh, as his government says, there's nothing that can be pointed out as an act of the government under Narendra Modi that is discriminatory. So why is it that this question keeps chasing? Or is it just a narrative because this is easy to do against Narendra Modi? And is that narrative successful after 10 years? Thank you for having me on the show, Shivani. Good evening. It's not a narrative that is uh, that is uh, just a fake propaganda. It is rooted in some amount of truth. Why it doesn't succeed is because uh, the Prime Minister and the BJP have an entire ecosystem that overlaps the truth. So it doesn't succeed because of that. But it is the truth that there is a lot of lot of um, authoritarianism and there is a lot of hate being spread in our country, much more than what was being spread in the past. Um, speeches made by top people in the BJP and they've got away with it are based on hate. In fact, Biduri, the speech he made and the BJP apologized for it. What punishments happened to Biduri? Nothing. He got promoted. Yesterday he spoke on the criminal law bills. Imagine he spoke on criminal law bills. And minority does not only mean religious minority. So that's a misconception. Minorities means all kinds of minorities. Today, just now, as I sit with you, the minority uh, gender population, women, are female wrestlers, jart wrestlers for the vice president because he used that who are molested. They were touched in inappropriate places when asked for protein by Bridge Bhushan Sharan Singh. Bridge Bhushan Sharan Singh's gang won the WFI elections. The Prime Minister has not removed them. If Prime Minister removes Bridge Bhushan Sharan Singh, he doesn't lose a majority. From where? where has the Prime doesn't Minister remove him from where? Will remove him from, ask him to resign as MP or kick him out of the BJP. You do Nothing know that happen. the party can't remove an elected representative from you parliament. Know, you know the party can. No, Shivan, you're wrong. I've studied the constitution. A party can remove him. He will continue to be an MP. Yeah. The party will have the big one apply on him. Yeah, Number so he continues one. to be an MP. Let you can't be, your MP ship cannot be taken uh, away. Till he, gets, no, Shiv, till he gets Shivani, convicted. I've read the constitution. One second, I've read the constitution. I never said remove him as an MP. Then no, you said from parliament, you said, no? No, no, I said from party, from his party, okay. from the BJP. Hmm. That's what I said. You can kick him out from the BJP. Did they kick him out? He continues. He did a press conference on women's, co on women's safety. Okay. That man. So, Tessin, I want to I understand know, from you. Do you believe that... Be one one second. Line. Do you believe that... Let me take one more line. Yeah. Adding to this, authoritarianism. Hmm. Today... The Bombay High Court released Gautam Navlak. I hate left loonies. I think they're they're absolute. They're a they're 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 a they're a weight on our society. But Gautam Navlak spent three years in prison on the accusation that he tried to assassinate our Prime Minister. Hmm. Not one evidence was given that charge was withdrawn. That charge was withdrawn. A man, however we may dislike him, I dislike him. Spent three years of his life in prison on the charge of assassinating our Prime Minister by the NIA, which was withdrawn in court. They withdrew that charge. So, you put somebody, you're not a charge. Tessie, what the is question, going on? The question that I'm trying to ask is that, you know, all of these things that you're talking about, parliamentarians having sketchy records or allegations, serious allegations, there are parliamentarians who've had allegations of rape, not just sexual misconduct. Uh, the fact that uh, you're talking about how, you know, one person has spent time in jail, uh, these, a lot of these things have happened in the past. My point is, what is it that is happening so dramatically different in today's India under Narendra Modi that does not have any parallel what used to happen for all of these years in 60 years. All of these cases have precedence. All parties can be accused of having people who either said things that are hate speech. By the way, if you're talking about hate speech, one such uh, parliament, uh, you're one such spe um, member of an assembly has been made a speaker in an assembly. What about his yeah, speech? I agree. So I my agree. point I think that was ridiculous. Exactly. So my I think point it was ridiculous is ridiculous by the Congress. Exactly. I'll take the name. The my Congress point is, wrong. is I've tweeted about it. My point is this: What is it that you have against Narendra Modi that is so dramatically different and peerless and precedentless that has happened in India over the last ten years, which cannot, which nobody can say has never happened in India. It hasn't been mainstreamed as it has now. It's but that's an opinion. Now. It is. No, it's not an opinion. It's cool. It's cool to be. It's cool to be vindictive. So you've always had this problem in India, but this this was always a whisper. Now you have parliamentarians in parliament using the most cuss words, words I cannot use on your show, and no action being taken for the shame of it. Action was taken in the. Do past. you know in they parliament an MP also said uh, for no, for what he said for North Indian states? Is that not I hate? Think that was, 
Of course it is hate. I was the first to call this, it out. This is precisely what first. I'm saying. For but, every but, such but, instance you uh, can point out to me, second. I can but actually again, refer to instances let, that have happened. But the and, amount of... And, one second, one second. Tessie, it, Tessie, I have limited time. Two of my guests haven't spoken. Sure. What my point is that the amount of criticism Narendra Modi has got, this is not after his 10 years of being in office. From the day he came to this office, it was said democracy will die in India. Minorities will die in India. There have been campaigns called uh, of Muslim genocide. None of that is true. So is this criticism just okay. criticism for the sake of criticism? I want to go across so to the, Ravish. One second, Tessin. Ravish yeah, Shivastav yeah, yeah, first, yeah, yeah. then PKD Nambiar will also respond. Ravish Shivastav? Yeah. Uh, Shivani, good evening. You asked a very valid question. Hmm. That what has changed in last 10 years? I will tell you what has changed in last 10 years. Yes. We used to live with an absolute Amicably, all religions, all communities, all castes till 2013. In Is that 10 true? Years, we have got a serious divide, a communal divide, a total distrust amongst the religions. Hmm. You will find different uh, things happening. And I, I would refer to the uh, statement by the uh, Honorable Hope Minister hmm. who said just now that uh, what uh, was done in Gujarat hmm. has put the minorities in uh, uh, in a place now it now they will never raise their head or something like that as if he, he is said that the way the 2002 riots were handled there have been no riots in gujarat since then that's what he no. said that's what he said exactly yes that he said it he rather vindicated what had happened in gujarat in 2002 he almost vindicated that so that's what i'm saying that this kind of hatred divide Communal divide, hmm. the hate for the other religion was never there. This okay. has happened. I think that's a now. challengeable statement. I'll tell you why. You said that this kind of hate and communities living together peacefully was witnessed till 2013 and has not happened since. Actually, if you look at the actual data on rioting and communal incidents in India, noted by the NCRB, that data rioting and uh, cases of communal incidents have gone down in India since 2014. Now, I don't know how to reconcile with what you feel versus what has been recorded on ground. I am ac I'm acceptable of your feeling, but feelings are different from facts. PKD Dambia, what do you think? Uh, well, uh, very interesting. The uh, Tessin has started, uh, Tessin generally play uh, the mid role, uh, even though he's a Congress sympathizer. And I, I, I always salute his spirit of being true. But one thing I'll tell you, uh, Tessin, you made a small mistake today that the uh, fake propaganda. Of course, there is a fake pr propaganda. The toilets which were made, millions of toilets are made in India for the first time in a way for the poor people, for the underprivileged people is a fake propaganda. The number of bank accounts which are Jandan Yojana wherein through which the uh, complete policy has been changed and direct benefit transfer has been transferred to every individual's money. The number of accounts which is gender accounts are made is a propaganda, fake propaganda. So every word, whether it is, uh, whether the roads are getting constructed in, uh, the, the, in the world record uh, way, that is also fake propaganda. Yar, how long this Modi hatred will take all of you? Where are you going to be in? The reality is that the 80% of the people, when they get free ration, they, whether it could be Muslims, Parsis, Christians, or any other, uh, or Sikh, it's included for everybody. Is there any scheme which in India, which has been made only for a particular section of the society? Is it for only Muslims or is it for only for uh, Christians yes. or for only for Hindus? Definitely no. No, that is if, an important uh, point. That's the only way you can judge can a I government. Reply to what, that? Yes, what is that the government has done, which has been discriminatory, and for 10 years we've been discussing discrimination by this government, and nobody I, has been able to point out even one. In fact, the data from the Economic Advisory Council to the Prime Minister suggests oh. that actually the most beneficiaries amongst the poor amongst India of the government's flagship schemes have been those who are non Hindus. So, Tessin, Absolutely. how long are, are, are me, you going to keep throwing this charge? Let me bust this myth. Okay. Let me bust this can myth. I, let I, me I, bust this myth. Yeah, PKD, my, my one second. PKD friend, wants to just finish in 10 I, seconds I, I, and you please, take on from him. Please, yeah. please, please, please. 28 percentage more housing for the Muslim community. Is that true? Or, is, it, it's false. is it true that, that all the benefits of uh, uh, the governance has been offered more, uh, more than the Hindus? It is for the Muslims are the major beneficiary, mm. isn't it true? 
you they take okay. any okay, let him respond let him respond the problem the problem is that the problem is 